Hi, I'm Dr. Isa Isa with Columbus Cardiology Consultants at the Mount Carmel Medical Group. I received my medical training in internal medicine, cardiovascular disease, and interventional cardiology at The Ohio State University and have been treating people with cardiovascular disease for the past five years. This program was created to help you understand how and why a coronary angioplasty, sometimes called balloon angioplasty, is performed. The video you're about to see will help you understand the steps of a coronary angioplasty and how this procedure is designed to help restore the flow of blood through your coronary arteries. You will also learn what you may expect before and after your angioplasty surgery. If there is any information you need repeated, you can watch this video as many times as you wish. Please share this program with family and friends so they can better understand your coronary angioplasty procedure and provide you with support. Let's start by learning how this procedure works to expand your artery and improve blood flow. If you or someone you know has recently had a coronary angioplasty procedure, this video will help you understand the steps of the procedure and how it restores blood flow to your heart. Coronary angioplasty, also called percutaneous transluminal coronary angioplasty or balloon angioplasty, is a procedure performed on blood vessels called coronary arteries that supply your heart muscle with oxygen. This procedure is designed to restore blood flow through coronary arteries that are narrowed or clogged by a buildup of a fatty substance called plaque. At the hospital, your healthcare team will explain the treatment and get your informed consent. Then, an intravenous line will be started. You will be placed on a heart monitor, and you will be given a sedative to help you relax. Most coronary angioplasty procedures last between 30 minutes and 3 hours. Depending on whether the angioplasty is done through an arm or leg artery, the doctor will numb the skin in your groin or wrist area. Then a needle will be inserted through your skin and into your artery. Once the needle is placed, a flexible guide wire will be passed through the needle into your artery. The needle will be withdrawn and exchanged for a small flexible tube called a sheath, permitting access to your artery. You may feel pressure when the doctor inserts the sheath through the skin into your body, but you will not feel the movement inside your artery. Next, the guide wire will be advanced up to your heart. A flexible tube, called a catheter, will be advanced over the guide wire and brought into position near your coronary arteries. The procedure will be monitored using an X-ray imaging device called a fluoroscope. At this point, your doctor will remove the guide wire, position the tip of the catheter just inside the coronary artery to be treated, and inject a special dye. The dye allows the fluoroscope to see inside your coronary arteries and take X-ray images called angiograms. Any blockages will be clearly identified as the arteries fill with the dye. Once the blockage is identified, your doctor will insert a flexible guide wire into the artery. A balloon-tipped catheter, called an angioplasty balloon, will be advanced over this wire and into position at the site of the blockage. Inflation of the balloon expands the narrowing and improves the blood flow. You may feel some chest discomfort while this is happening. Afterwards, your doctor will withdraw the deflated balloon from your artery leaving the guide wire across the treated area. Often, a small tube called a stent that looks like a wire mesh will be placed in the treated area, acting like a scaffold to help prevent the artery from closing back in. A properly sized stent chosen by your cardiologist that is compressed on the balloon is advanced into the artery over the same guide wire. When the balloon is inflated, the stent will expand and lock into place. After the balloon catheter is withdrawn, the stent will remain behind to hold the artery open. After your procedure, a bandage will be applied over the artery that the doctor used to get up to your heart. 
you may be asked to lie on your back for several hours, during which time you will be checked periodically for any signs of bleeding or chest pain. You may be discharged home on the same day or after an overnight stay in the hospital. I'm Aaron College. I'm an interventional radiographer. Thank you for watching this program. I hope you found the information about your coronary angioplasty helpful. If there's anything you would like to see again, you can simply visit the main menu and replay any video. We encourage you to share your feelings and questions honestly with us. Communication is an important part of our relationship. It will help us better manage your treatment and overall health.